Before global tourism, or digital cameras, or GPSs, two brothers set out to find, live with and film the vanishing tribes of Indonesia. Lorne and Lawrence Blair, my brother and I, spent 10 years exploring the islands, which sprawl 2,500 miles between the Bay of Bengal and the Pacific Ocean. With fully a third of the world's active volcanoes, this is the most eruptive arc of the Ring of Fire. Our legacy of adventures with no safety nets is a dream of when jungles still stood and were alive with beasts and with the hidden custodians of an ancient wisdom. We began as amateurs, reaching Komodo when it was barely known. I'm Lorne, the bearded one with a monocle, and that's my brother Lawrence, who seems to think he'll make it over a hundred yards of coral in his thongs. The dragons were eager for visitors. We filmed on erupting volcanoes, unknowingly handled the octopus with the fatal bite. Becalmed, we survived starvation by scraping barnacles off the hull. We sailed with pirates for months at a time via forgotten cultures, old time pearl divers, birds of paradise. For 800 miles on foot and by canoe, plagued by leeches and insects, we tracked a lost tribe of nomads. And the death rites of the last king of a tribe who believed their ancestors came from the sky and starships. We lived with headhunters and cannibals, eating what they ate, dressing as they dressed. We were drawn into strange worlds of magic and mysticism. What began for us as an outer adventure gradually became an inner journey of self-discovery amongst the vanishing wisdom of the tribal peoples of the Ring of Fire. Resurrected and remastered, this five-part documentary series is a reminder of what it really means to be a child of the earth. <laughs>